So everybody's sort of a one and done uh, situation here, almost like that bridge roster to get them to what LeBron is really going to want next season. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah. Yeah, and I think, you know, I think at this point, because, you know, for the first time in a long time, LeBron is committed long term. Um, you know, he's on a four year deal. He's not, you know, this isn't the usual, you know, one and one deal that he signs that makes him a free agent a year. So now it's getting, you know, it's going to be a, a joint venture. It's going to be as much about what Magic wants. You know, supposedly these guys that they picked up are Magic's guys and not LeBron's guys. Oh, you know, these were okay. these were guys that. Uh, you know, they, they were on Magic. Because Magic has this, um, uh, you know, this, this thought about Cleveland. He thought that they were too specialized, um, you know, and uh, especially tilted towards shooters, Kyle Korver, J.R. Smith. You know, I don't particularly see it that way. Uh, but he didn't want that. He didn't want a Cavaliers-type team. He wanted a team where everybody could switch on, uh, on pick and rolls and they could, you know, guard that way and, you know, put more teeth in their defense. Um, and so that's why they picked these guys up. But they're all on one-year deals, all these guys I mentioned. And uh, so, you know, they're very obviously keeping their options open for next year. And, you know, the options are, you know, they, they can uh, create a, a max slot for anybody. And, you know, it's not just Kawhi Leonard, you know, who's likely to be on the market next year. You know, it's also Kevin Durant and uh, Anthony Davis. So at this point, you know, I'd say there's good, you know, there's, a, you know, a better chance of Kawhi Leonard never being here and somebody else being here in his stead. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.